I purchased these at Target. They had three sizes. There was a short square, a, I think it was called short round or oval, and then there was a much longer one. I can't remember what it was called. I've never used press on nails before, but my nails are super short and they keep breaking. So I thought that this would be a good time to try them. This one comes with 100 nails. It says it can hold polish and nail art and you have to soak them in acetone to get them off. The directions are all back here. It says seven day wear. I honestly think that would kill me. I do like that it comes with a nice case and you could put, you know, a little like a cuticle oil or a tiny file up there. What I'm gonna do first is put some cuticle oil on my nails and kind of like push my nails back. You don't, you don't really need to be here for that, so I'll be back in a second. And I'm obviously just doing these four nails. I don't have to live my life with 10 press on nails. I will, I will probably die. Apply glue to nail, apply thin, even layer of glue to natural nail. Oh, okay, so we're double gluing. I guess I'll start with the pinky. Apply, here, let me, uh, clean nails. Nails have been cleaned with acetone. Apply glue to nail, apply thin, even layer of glue to natural nail. I don't, I don't really know. That looks like a thin, even layer to me. Where's the little, put glue on the natural, or on the nail. Ooh, I'm scared. Press and hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a bubble. Okay, that's probably user error. <gasps> oh, fart, it is attached. Okay, well, there's a bubble. It says I can file them. Let me make sure I can do that because I can't live my life like that. I have to you know, clean that up. So that's one. I'm just going to glue these and then I'll speed up through this. I'm noticing that the picture here says to actually press the nail on it. I think I've been sliding it on, so we're going to try that. Look, oh gosh, so bizarre. I'm just not used to my nails looking, first of all, they look very thick. And I will say that these are not thick nails. It's just, it's just having an extra layer of fake something on your nail. It doesn't say that they're a slim profile, but I would, these are thicker than I would expect a press on nail to be. I have never worn press on nails before. That's not true. When I got married, I um, didn't think about nails <laughs> and how my nails would look. So uh, on the way to like getting ready for my wedding, someone was like, oh, how do your nails look for pictures? And I thought, oh yeah, I didn't actually think about that. So we had to, I think we ran into like a CVS and grabbed whatever, you know, probably French manicure press on nails there were. Oh gosh. And um, I ripped them off on my honeymoon because I could not handle them. That was, you know, 13 years ago. So I know that there are slim profile nails now and all that stuff. But for this one, I only put glue on the nail because I, I personally don't want these to last seven days. <laughs> I just want to be able to swatch. So I don't care if they don't last seven days. You can file them pretty easily. It just looks, it just takes some time, you know, pretty long nailed file. So we're going to do that. I'm not really sure about the bubble situation. Like, I don't really know what happened there. I was holding, I don't know. It does hold, it doesn't say press and mash and like manipulate the glue around. I don't really know what happened there. So if you're gonna buy these to wear like this, I don't really know. I bought these to paint, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. I think that this comes in like a really nice case. The nails are all separated. The glue actually like pops out from the bottom. So you can open this and like pops the glue up from the bottom. I don't know why I think that's so cool. I've never done a swatch on camera. This is a big moment. Okay. Hopefully you've already seen this video with the Something Worth Fighting For trio. This is called The Brightest Witch. I always start with my ring finger. Oh, 
I don't know why. One thing I'm not sure about swatching on fake nails is if it will affect the opacity. All right, so we're gonna do the third coat. For me, the real test is going to be how this removes because how the polish removes from this because I bought these for swatch. I don't really care about my nails looking this way for life. I care about them a certain length for swatching. So that's what we are gonna do. I'm just gonna remove them the same way I would any nail polish. I have a cotton round that I cut in half and I soak it in acetone and hold it over the nail, drag it off. I mean, if anything, that removed easier than from my natural nail. Granted, I did just swatch this and it wasn't like set and, you know, with base coat, top coat, I really don't know about base coat and top coat, or base coat for natural. All right, so the polish is gone. That was my main concern. The bubbles didn't show through. That's all user error. I'm sure I did something wrong. I will insert the swatch picture so you can see how it looks if you care. If I am still wearing these by the time I post this video, I will update that. If not, there will be um, an update in the description box as to how long they wore. It's just a weird sensation. I don't like my natural nails to be this long. I might actually file these a little bit more. Uh, just this is just this is just long for me. I'm not a long nails or die person, but that's why uh, we all have different uh, opinions and it's okay. So if you guys have tried the Kiss Full Cover Nails, let me know. Uh, as I mentioned, I purchased mine at Target. They were $5.99 and you get 100 nails um, with 10 sizes and they are very easy to file. I've just, I just used a regular, a regular old file. I didn't use a glass file or anything special and they filed down just fine. Do you guys wear press-on nails? I know I did a lot of it wrong. It's fine. This was my first time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!